Hello students, today we are going to discuss about gypsum and prefabricated building components. Gypsum is a naturally occurring mineral that is made up of calcium sulfate and water. Gypsum is used for all types of buildings, both residential and non-residential and for refurbishment as well as construction. Gypsum can be used for very beautiful contemporary designs and structures. Uses of gypsum. In today's world, gypsum is mainly used in the form of gypsum board, gypsum fiber board, glass fiber reinforced gypsum walls, gypsum plaster. Gypsum board. It is a panel made of gypsum with or without additives, typically extruded between thick sheets of facer and backer paper. They are primarily used as a finish for walls, ceilings and partitions. They are known in construction as drywall, wall board, sheet rock or plaster board. They are used in residential, commercial and institutional structures. The main advantage of using gypsum board are they are fireproof, they are easy to install, they can isolate sound, they are economical, they are durable and versatile. Next is gypsum fiber board. It is reinforced material consisting of gypsum and cellulose fibers. These two raw materials are mixed and after the addition of water, they are pressed under high pressure to form panel sheets. After drying, the panels are impregnated with a hydrophobic agent and cut into desired sizes. With the exception of exterior applications, gypsum fiber boards can be used in all areas of drywall and timber construction as panelings and linings in walls, ceilings, floors, etc. Gypsum fiber boards are inflammable. Glass fiber reinforced gypsum walls or GFRG walls. GFRG wall, also called rapid wall, is an energy efficient green building material with huge potential for use as load bearing and non load bearing wall panels. GFRG wall is manufactured using phosphor gypsum as a core material which is generated as a byproduct of phosphoric acid plant. For example, the FACT in Kochi is producing phosphoric acid and the byproduct is being used in the construction of GFRG walls. It can be used for both internal and external walls. GFRG wall is suitable for hybrid construction in multi-storied buildings. It is used as lightweight load-bearing wall in building up to two-story construction. It is also used as high capacity vertical and shear load bearing structural wall in multi-storied construction. It is used as partition infill wall in multi-storied frame building. It is also used as horizontal floor or roof slabs. It is used as pitched or sloped roofing. It is also used as cladding for industrial buildings and as compound walls. Another use of gypsum is gypsum plaster. It is a white cementing material made by partial or complete dehydration of mineral gypsum. It can be directly applied over brick or block work. Gypsum plaster has good insulation properties, fire resistance, impact resistance. It does not have any shrinkage cracks. It has good quick setting time that is 25 to 30 minutes. No curing is required and gives a smooth finish. Next we are going to discuss about prefabricated building components. Prefabrication is the practice of assembling components of a structure in a factory and then transporting to the construction site where the structure is to be located. 
The main advantages of prefabrication are it requires shorter construction time, need for shuttering and scaffolding is reduced, there is financial savings, there is more flexibility, the quality control is easier, time spent in bad weather or hazardous environment at the construction site is minimized. The prefabricated construction is carried out in two stages. One is manufacturing of components in a place and second one is erection and position. The main components that are used as prefabricated component are roof or slab, beams, columns and wall panels. Roof or slab. They are horizontal member to act as roof or floor. In prefabrication, it is achieved by placing slab over beam and grouting with concrete. The different types of slab panels are solid flat slab, hollow core slab, single T slab, double T slab. The figure shows the different types of slabs or roofs. Beams. The beams are cast for clear distance between the columns. They are connected with other beam reinforcement or column reinforcement by welding. Then concreting is done at the junction. The different types of beams used are rectangular, L-shaped, inverted T or ash to. Columns. It is a vertical member carrying the beam and floor loading to the foundation. The different types are edge column, which is symmetric in one direction, internal column, which is symmetric in all directions, corner column, which is not symmetric. Wall panels. It is a single piece of material like concrete, timber, masonry, etc. Usually flat and cut into rectangular portion. The different types are cladding or curtain walls. They do not transfer load but simply enclose the space. Load bearing walls. They resist and transfer the load from other elements and cannot be removed without affecting the strength or stability of the building. Shear walls. They are used as lateral load resisting systems. Form work for cast in situ concrete. Panels act as form work for the cast in situ concrete and it provides visual appeal. So that's all about gypsum and prefabricated construction components. Thank you.